Hi, I am Adolfo Villafid, I am the co-founder of ShareTech, an innovative startup, a socially located innovative startup in uh, Italy. And today I'm going to talk uh, about the way in which we use Earth Mode to budget uh, our uh, uh, projects. First, I need to introduce the way in which we build our project budget. So we start from the goals and the work to be performed, and um, we uh, split it into different tasks. Uh, which may be grouped in different ways according to our needs. It could be user stories or um, functional groups or, um, or packages. And then for each task we compute the effort. Um, and then uh, from the effort we derive the project cost and, and price uh, according to two different approaches. In the first approach we allocate the effort to each resource and we multiply the effort uh, of the resource by the price of the resource. We sum all the efforts together and then we sum all the tasks uh, together, the prices of all the tasks together. In the second approach, we use uh, a generic uh, effort um, uh, estimation for each uh, task uh, without allocating the effort to any specific person and we multiply this effort by the average uh, price of the resource. In um, both cases, the price is computed uh, uh, by uh, summing cost to overheads and uh, profit. We are a small company, we can choose our tool chain, so we decided to use Earth Mode for writing our proposals. So we built a template, the template has got uh, some, a fixed structure, um, which allows us to do a lot of reuse, and uh, some Emacs Lisp code and Earth Mode features to build the uh, project tables. Let me show you, without further ado, the template, which is shown here. And uh, basically, it is a fairly standard uh, org mode document. Um, there are some sections here to, let me show you the structure here. Uh, there are some sections, some of which uh, are not uh, um, exported, uh, shown to the client, uh, because uh, they are of no interest to them, such as, for instance, uh, the uh, plain text uh, H-Ledger accounting entries we generate for the project, and, um, or some info about the detailed uh, uh, budget uh, data, uh, while others are shared with the, with the clients to form a project proposal. Uh, the structure is not really important in the sense that the only constraint and requirement um, we set is that there has to be a section with an ID uh, named plan uh, which will contain and contains the uh, plan, uh, the project plan. Uh, here for instance uh, we, have, um, um, we have a project plan made of uh, a user story uh, whose development is split into three different tasks. Uh, for each task, let me show you just uh, the structure before uh, the application of the template. For each task, you need to define, you need to define um, the effort. Here, for instance, we have an effort, a generic effort not allocated to any person. Uh, we use org mode duration, 60 stands for 60 minutes. And here we have an effort uh, uh, profiled. So in task 1.2, Adolfo will work uh, 10 days and Michele 20 days. Uh, these are uh, working days, so one working day corresponds to eight hours. This is slightly non standard. We might revise this uh, to become more compliant with um, the definition of day given by org mode. Notice that uh, you can or cannot, uh, you may or may not use uh, uh, to do keywords here if you want. We don't usually don't use them because uh, the final document looks nicer to the customer without to do. We then add them uh, when we uh, move to a later uh, uh, stage. So once you define the plan with the effort allocation, you can go back to the Emacs list part where uh, it, uh, you can set uh, three different variables uh, to define uh, the hourly rates of your team 
so for instance here uh, I am taking uh, 10 euros per hour uh, uh, well <laughs> not a real rate actually and Michele 20 and then you can set the profit as a percentage uh, on top of the hourly rate and profit as a percentage on top of uh, hourly rates and um, the uh, ballpark effort allocation here is used to compute the average um, uh, tariff, uh, our average hourly rate as a weighted average. So here I'm saying that uh, on average I will work 30% uh, of the effort of each task while Michele will take care of the remaining 70% and the hourly rate is computed by multiplying 30% by 10 plus 70% by 20. Um, okay, if I do a control C, control C here, I execute the Emacs list code in the, um, uh, in, in the source code block. And as you can see, uh, Emacs put uh, back uh, the properties uh, um, that transform the effort into a total amount and namely the, the effort uh, is first transformed into working hours then rates and costs are computed overhead computed and everything uh, uh, contributes to the total amount same thing here the, cam the, the, the uh, cost is slightly more complex because we use profiled effort um, and so on and so forth. This information here can be then um, grouped in the, uh, to form the, the project plan and project uh, budget. As you can see, uh, this is something we do not uh, export uh, in the project proposal to the client because we prefer to do some rounding by hand uh, in order to build a budget which is, uh, let's say, uh, more uh, reasonable. And um, uh, this table here uh, computes VAT uh, and total amounts by Ctrl C, Ctrl C, once again. And then uh, this table here, the payment structure is used to um, compute uh, the amount to be paid according to um, the different payments we want to set in the project. Here, for instance, we are setting three payments uh, with the following uh, percentages and the table, you set dates and amounts and the table keeps uh, um, track of the rest by looking at the total amount it finds uh, here uh, in the budget table. So the payment structure and budget are then used by um, this piece of code here to uh, build the entries uh, um, used uh, for our internal, internal accounting, which is based on each ledge, ledger. Um, we did everything here by hand, but uh, it is not necessary, of course, in the sense uh, because if you uh, export the document using Ctrl C, Ctrl E, and then, for instance, L for LaTeX and P for PDF. Um, org mode takes care of doing, uh, evaluating each piece of code in uh, the document and generate uh, the updated document. Uh, here, for instance, you can see the, the, the PDF uh, generated from the template, uh, which contains all the tables, budget, and payment schema. Everything which is you, which we use to make an offer to our clients. Um, there are various advantages. Uh, the, first, the main one being that we keep all the information in one place um, and that we can version the um, different versions. Uh, we can use source control to version uh, different iterations on the document. If you want, you can find the document here and uh, thank you for uh, uh, your um, attention and I'm open to questions.